following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And good afternoon on this October 27th, 2021. We go back to October 14th. As the Jets take off behind me. It's the right city, but the wrong team. October 14, 1976, for a requested game on the fall baseball tour between the Kansas City Royals and the New York Yankees from 1976. This is Game 5 of that American League Championship Series. Win or go home for one of these two teams on a cool and clear night in the Bronx. It's not burning yet. My name is Ron Juckett. We're going to do as-played lineups. So it's going to be Eddie Figueroa and Dennis Leonard for Kansas City. We told Chris Chambliss, we went back in the time machine and said, bulk up, maybe wear a football helmet, maybe some shoulder pads. You might need them. Not going to tell you why, but you just might need them. So that's what we got for you today. Remember, football tomorrow, Green Bay and Seattle from Green Bay. But now it's back to the time machine to... October 14th, 1976, for one of the greatest games ever played. As Retro Sports Network presents the Fall Baseball Tour. Today, from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, it is the Kansas City Royals and the New York Yankees in a winner-take-all for the American League pennant. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else five podcasts are listed. Well, you can knock people over with a feather with this one. It'll be Ed Figueroa against Dennis Leonard. On a beautiful night in the Bronx, as we said, 63 degrees, winds blowing out to right in from right center at four. Let's tell you about Eddie's regular season, 19 and 10, with an ERA of 302. So pretty good to have in your services in a one-game deal. 256 and two-thirds innings, 237 hits. He allowed 13 homers. He walked 94 and struck out 119. Eddie is 28 years old. He is a fastball pitcher and a ground ball pitcher at that. The fastball tops out at 88. And in his 34 starts in 1976, he went the distance 14 times. But this being pretty much a Johnny Holstaff game, he'll get until he can't go, until he gets into trouble, and then the pen is there. This will be the lineup that he'll face. It's Al Cowens in center field for the Royals. Tom Paquette is in left field. He'll bat second. George Brett at third base will bat third. John Mayberry cleans up for the Royals at first base. Hal McCray in the field. I was surprised to see that. He's in right. He'll bat fifth. Jamie Quirk, the DH. Not quite sure about that, but what the hay... Cookie Rojas at second will bat seventh. Freddie Patek at short will bat eighth. And Buck Martinez is behind the plate, and he'll go ninth. Defensively for the Yankees, it'll be Roy White, a six and a four in center. Or left, I mean. Vicky Rivers is a seven and four in right. Oscar Gamble is a five or in center for Rivers. Oscar Gamble is a five and a nine in right. Craig Nettles is an 8 at 3rd. Fred Stanley, a 6 at short. Willie Randolph, a 7 at 2nd. Chris Chambliss, a 7 at 1st. Thurman Munson, an 8 and 8 behind the plate. And Figueroa is a 3 on the mound with a 9.75 fielding percentage. This one started at 8.30 on the Thursday night, the 14th of October. 1976, Al Cowens digs in at 265, three homers and 59 RBI. Buckle up. This one starts with a base hit in the right center field. Gamble throws it back in, and that's how this one starts with a single. 
Here's Tom Paquette. He'll leave the light on for you. 302, two homers and 34 RBI. Hit 10 triples in 344 at bats. There's a fly ball to left, white in the corner. Roy reaches over, makes the catch. Cowens goes back to first. And there's one out. Paquette just kind of hit a lazy fly ball down the line, and White made the catch. Almost in foul territory. Here's George Brett. George at 333. 14 triples, 7 homers, and 67 RBI. Cowan's not really a threat to steal. Figueroa's pitch. There's a little looper in the right center. That's going to drop for a hit. Cowens will try for third. Mickey Rivers does not have a great arm out there. They're going to try for him. The throw to third. That all's got him. A good throw from Rivers and a better tag from Nettles. And there's two out. That's a biggie. Let's watch it again. He had a 36% chance of making the play, but that was in the very shallow right center field, and Rivers just planted his foot. Cowens with good speed on the bases, but the throw beat him. And Nettles, just a fantastic third baseman. Put the tag on. Cowens went in head first, and it didn't matter. Two out for Mayberry. John at 232. 13 homers and 95 RBI. Mayberry, the second. Randolph goes to Stanley for the force, and that will retire the side. The Royals get two hits and leave a runner on. We go to the bottom of the second here. At the state, or bottom of the first, it's no score. So Leonard didn't even get out of the first. In the real game, 17 and 10 in 76 with a 3 5 1 ERA, 259 innings, 247 hits, 16 homers. He walked 70 and struck out 150. Leonard is 25 and would be the ace of the Orioles all through this run in the late 70s. Made one relief appearance, completed 16 games. Fastball pitcher at 89 and a ground ball pitcher. And this will be the lineup he'll face. Mickey Rivers leads off in center field for the Yankees. Roy White in left will go second. Thurman Munson behind the plate bats third. Chris Chambliss cleans up at first. May, the DH, will bat fifth. Craig Nettles at third will bat sixth. Oscar Gamble in right, the Afro, will bat seventh. Willie Randolph at second bats eighth, and Fred Stanley on the at short will bat ninth. Figueroa through sixteen pitches in his half of the first. Defensively for the Royals, Tom Paquette is a four and a one and left. That is the very definition of a ramen noodle arm. Al Cowens a six and a nine in the center. I have no idea why Whitey Herzog went with Hal McRae in right. He's a two and a four. It's not very good. George Brett, a seven at third. Freddie Patek, an eight at short. Cookie Rojas, a five at second. John Mayberry, a six at first. Buck Martinez, a six and a six behind the plate. And Leonard, not a great fielder. A three range, not a free range. He's not a good chicken. He's a three range. And an 850 fielding percentage. Rivers is going to swing here. 312, 8 homers, and 67 RBI. Swings, and there's a line drive in the right field. McCray throws it back in, and Rivers is definitely a threat to steal with a leadoff single. Here's White, Roy at 286, 14 homers, 65 RBI. Pitch. Rivers couldn't get the jump. Everybody nervous. This is for the pennant. They'll try again. There goes Rivers to throw down to Freddie. No. 
So Rivers has that base stolen, and the Yankees have a runner in scoring position for White and a two-ball count. Roy, here's a ground ball, base hit right side. Rivers will round third. And they're going to test McCray's arm quickly. White will hold it first to throw to Buck. No, sir. One nothing, New York. Rivers slid. There was a whole bunch of dust. And when the dust settled, it was one nothing, New York. Here's Thurman Munson. 302. 17 homers and 105 RBI. Throw to first, White back. So the Yankees up 1 0. Got him. He got him to swing and miss on a 1 2 fastball. One out for Chambliss. Chris at 293, 17 homers, and 96 RBI. Throw to first, White back. They think about it now. Pitch to Chambliss. There's a chopper down to Mayberry. Goes to Patek for one. Back to Mayberry and Chambliss. Beat it out. So 3-6 on the fours. They get the faster runner in white. And here is Carlos May. 278. Three homers and 40. RBI. one nothing Yankees. Bottom of the first. Two out. Pitch to May. There's a chopper to third. Brett goes to Rojas for the fours, and that will retire the side. Yankees, however, get a run on two hits and no errors. We go to the second at the stadium. one nothing Yankees. So McCray, Jamie Quirk, again the DH, and Cookie Rojas. Hal at 3.32. Eight homers and 73 RBI. Figueroa starts the second with a chopper to third. Nettles across the way, one out. Brings up court. Again, I don't really understand this decision from Whitey Herzog. Jamie, 246, a homer and 15 RBI. But that's what baseball reference said. Jamie swings into left field. White going back to the track, but he'll make the catch two out. Brings up the wily veteran Cookie Rojas. 242, no homers, and 16 RBI. Again, Frank White was there by this point, wasn't he? Rojas swings in the left center field. Rivers reaches over, makes the catch in the end, and the Royals go in win order. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the second here at Yankee Stadium. One nothing Bombers. So Nettles, Gamble, and Willie Randolph to face Leonard here in the second. Nettles led the American League in home runs. With 32. There's a message for me. And if you care, the town of Richmond, Vermont is going to have a water interruption into it. So, hard to believe you don't think of Nettles being a power hitter. But his 32 and 76 led all of um, the American League. Pitch to Dendles. There's a base hit in the right field. McRae throws it back in. I'll bring up Oscar Gamble. Oscar 232. 17 homers and 57 RBI. So when they would get Reggie Jackson from the Orioles as a free agent, that was an upgrade. Nettles, good speed at first. 
Gamble swings, a ground ball to Mayberry. John goes to short for one, back to first, and Gamble beat it out. So Randolph at the plate, Willie over from the Pirates, 267, a homer and 40 RBI. One out, second inning, one nothing New York. Game 5 of the American League Championship Series for 1976. This one's for all the marbles. The winner, a sacrificial lamb for the Cincinnati Reds, who swept the Philadelphia Phillies. Throw to first, Gamble back. Pitch to Randolph. Ball four. So first and second. First walk from Leonard. Full count change up down and in. Here's Fred Stanley. Fred's going to bunt here. 238, a homer and 20 RBI. Runners with good speed. Brett and Mayberry play back. Stanley squares. Martinez has it. It rolls foul. And the count is 0 and 2. Pitch to Stanley. He swings. A ground ball to Freddie Patek. Should be two. Rojas for one. Mayberry for two. And that's a 6-4-3 double play. So the Yankees get a hit and leave a runner on. We go into the third inning here. It's the Yankees won the Royals nothing. So Nettles and Chambliss play for the bunt. Patek with good speed. 241 a homer. And 43 RBI. He had 51 stolen bases on the year. He will take strike three. Figueroa gave him the rainbow curve, and he didn't want it. First strikeout for Red. Here's Buck Martinez. Buck looking so skinny there. 228, five homers, and 34 RBI. Figueroa's pitch. There's a ground ball. is short. Stanley dives in the hole. Gets up. Throws to first for the out. So Stanley helping you do things right with a good play. Two out for Al Cowens who singled his first time up. Figueroa's opening nine on 31 pitches. Two and two-thirds innings. Two hits and a strikeout. Cowens draws the walk. Figueroa slams the ball back in his glove. A 3-1 curve. That missed low and away. So two out tying. Run on first for Pocket. Yankees pretty much can use anybody they want to today. Tom swings. A ground ball at Shambliss. Chris underhands it to the pitcher. And Figueroa steps on the bag. And that will retire the side. The Royals, no runs, no hits, they leave a runner on, no error. As we go to the bottom of the third inning here in New York, it's the Yankees. One, the Royals, nothing. So Rivers will swing at this. Leonard's opening nine on 30 pitches, two innings, three hit. So walk in a strikeout. Leonard deals, and there's a chopper to third. Brett already on the grass. Has to hurry. Rivers can run, and Mickey is out. They got him on the bang banger, and there's one out. Brett and Mayberry play for the bun again. Roy White singled and drove in Rivers in the first. That's the lone run of the ball game. Roy swings to short. Patek. Snap throw to first, two out. The real life game five, a 7 6 walk off for the Yankees. You've seen the clip a thousand times of Chris Chambliss running for his life. The Yankees looking for their first trip to the World Series since 1964 when they lost to the Cardinals in seven. The Yankees' last World Series win came in 1962. The Royals, an expansion team from 69, 
broke the A's five-year stranglehold in the American League West. Trying to this is their first postseason series, and they have this Yankee team on the brink. Munson struck out his first time up. Thurman, a ground ball to second. Rojas for the out. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the fourth. Fast-moving ball game here. one nothing Yankees. So, Brett Mayberry and McCray. George singled his first time up. This time around, he lines that one into left field. Wright picks it up on a hop, and Brett is two for two. Third hit for Kansas City. Yankees have three hits. Here's John Mayberry. John is 0 for 1. Pitch from Figueroa into right. Gamble in the corner. Foul. Some kid from Staten Island picked that one up. So the count to Mayberry is 0-2. Figueroa and Leonard aren't going to strike out a ton of batters. Eddie struck out 119 in 256 and two-third real innings. Pitch. There's a base hit in the right center field. Brett might move over to third. Rivers picks it up. And they hold Brett right there at second. So first and second, nobody out for McCray. Who was in right field. 60 degrees now. The wind blowing straight in from center at four. Gets away from Munson. And everybody moves up 90 on the wild pitch from Figueroa. So they're going to walk McCray. You might well. John Goodell, how are you? So, bases loaded, nobody out. Yankees will trade a run for two outs. And again, the strange decision by Whitey Herzog, which I'm sure someone will explain to me, to use Jamie Quirk as a DH in Game 5. Uh, I'm looking to see who they might have used. A Amos Otis. Roy White, Jim Wolford. Glad to hear, John. Yankees would love to right here. Pitch to Quirk. There's a ground ball to Stanley. They should get it. Randolph for one to throw to first, and they do. So it worked. The game is tied, but it's 6 4 3. Brent will score. But we're tied at one here in the fourth. Cookie Rojas again in for Frank White. Remember, this is Whitey Herzog's first do or die game. Billy Martin had one for the Twins, if I remember, or the Tigers. So this is not Billy's first. Do or die game. This is for Whitey Four or Whitey Herzog. Pitch to Rojas gets away from Munson and Mayberry scores to make it two to one. This time Munson couldn't find the handle, and it's a pass ball. It's two to one, Kansas City. So it's a one two to Rojas. Pitch to Cookie. There's a base hit in the left field. White will pick it up. Activity in the Yankee pen. Here's Freddie Patek. He is a lone strikeout victim from Eddie Figueroa. Two out here in the fourth. Two to one Royals. They got them both here. Freddie. Got him. Fastball on the outside half, and Patek looked. But the Royals get two runs on three hits, no errors, a pass ball. Bottom four here at the stadium, 2-1 to one, Kansas City. 
So it'll be Chambliss, Carlos May, and Craig Nettles. Now, why Carlos May? I mean, you had Heather Locklear. No. I suppose you could have gone with Pinella. Or Otto Velez. Hit Elliot Max, he really can't hit. Pinella would have been probably my choice. Pitch to Chambliss. Up the middle, and that's a base hit. So the Yankees quickly get to work, put the tying run on for May. Although May, not a bad hitter. 278 on the real, real season. 0 for 1 in this one. Carlos up the middle. Leonard's only play is to first, and Mayberry's there, one out. So Chambliss goes to second. Here's Nettles. Craig singled his first time up. Five hits for the Royals, four hits for the Yankees. John Goodell, listen to the last Digital Dice podcast on the wish list, and I totally agree. We need a good sim auto racing game. And that was the one, and I was thinking you mentioned it. I'm actually trying to figure out how to play Classic F1. I did a video on that, and somebody, and i got to look up the name before I do another video on it, did a monster tutorial document and how he set up his spreadsheets and all that. And I started doing that last night. And have a race set up to go. Now I just have to do the qualifying and that. But not everyone's a fan of Formula One. Pitch to Nettles. Got him! He swings and misses on a 1-2 fastball. Two out for Gamble. Oscar's 0 for 1. Leonard deals. Gamble into right field. McRae going back to make the catch, and that will retire the side. Yankees leave a runner on. No runs, a hit, and no errors. We go to the fifth. Two to one, Kansas City. So Martinez, Al Cowens, and Tom Poquette to face Figueroa here in the fifth. Buck is 0 for 1. Buck is 0 for 2. As Figueroa gets him to swing and miss. They talked to Anthony about some sort of IndyCar mod. Have you looked at plays.com's red, white, and blue? But that's only a NASCAR game. Cowens has walked and singled. 18 batters deep for Figueroa. 73 pitches, 4 and a third innings. 5 hits, he's walked 2 and struck out 3. The pass ball is the go-ahead run. This time Cowens slaps it to third. Nettles across the way for the out. Two out for Parkhead is 0 for 2. Wines and deals. Struck him out. That's four. A one-two fastball on the inside part of the plate. And we're halfway home. The Royals need 15 outs for the pennant. We'll see how that goes in a moment. Oops. I screwed this one up. Hold on.
So if you join us late, here's how we got here. Roy White singled home Mickey Rivers in the first to make a 1-0 New York. Then Kansas City got a couple fortuitous runs in the fourth. Jamie Quirt, a fielder's choice, to tie the score at 1. Then a pass ball by Thurman Munson scored John Mayberry, and the Royals went up 2-1. Dennis Leonard, a four-hitter through four and two strikeouts. And Figueroa, a five-hitter through five and two were in runs. And he has struck out four and wild walking two. So Brett and Mayberry play for the bunt. Randolph walked his first time up. Stanley on deck. And then Mickey Rivers. Figueroa at 84 pitches. You think that his day is probably closer to an end than not. All hands, of course, being really on deck in a game five. Pitch to Randolph. Strike three. He looked and swung on and missed a 2 2 curve. That's three for Leonard. And that'll bring up Fred Stanley, who grounded into a double play his first time up. Can't do it this time. He punches it into left field for a single. Brett should have had that. And the tying run is at the plate for Mickey Rivers, who's one for two. He has singled, scored, and stole a base. Leonard threw his opening 18, 60 pitches, four and a third inning. Five hits. The run is earned. He has walked one and struck out three. Pitch to Mickey. There's a ground ball to Rojas, should be two. Freddie Patek for one, there is no throw to first. They get the fours. And two out for Roy White, who is one for two. He has singled and driven in the lone Yankee run in the first. Yep, George Brett's preparation age problems prevented him from getting that. How you doing, Blue Jacket fan? Star of stage, screen, and football procrastinator or prognosticator on Rob with an exclamation points channel. And I had hemorrhoids once, and I promised after having that endeavor to make fun of them again because they hurt. Here goes Rivers, and he again he can't get a good jump. So ball one to White. Two to one Royals here in the bottom of the fifth. Here goes Mickey, the throw down to Freddie. No, so Rivers has stolen his second base of the ball game. Joe Book gets a free taco at Del Taco for that. And the count is a ball and a strike to White. Leonard deals. White swings a ground ball to short. Patek over to first. And that will retire the side. Yankees threaten but do not score. Run a hit to leave a runner on to go to the sixth. It's the Royals to the Yankees one. So here's George. One day closer to the weekend on this hump day. Blue Jacket, Dog Pound, Guardian fan. So would that make you a Guardian to the Dog Pound? Do they give those out? Is that like the keys to the milk bones or something like that? George Brett is two for two. He has single twice and scored. Figueroa starts the six with a fly ball to right center field. Rivers runs over, makes the catch, one out. I made him think. You know who just had his 72nd birthday last week? I know I know your brother from another mother would uh, appreciate this one. George Hendrick. I saw that on Facebook. John Mayberry's one for two. John has singled and scored. Royals got both of their runs in the fourth. Mayberry coming on a pass ball by Thurman Munson. 
This time around in the right field. Gamble, that's down the line, and he'll make the catch for the second out. Hit that off the end of the bat. Two out from McCray. Hal has walked and is 0 for 1. He was erased on a double play, I believe. It's an intentional walk. There's a ground ball to Randolph behind the bag at second, over to Chambliss, and that will retire the side. So this one has not been like the real game. This one has been a pitcher's duel between Leonard and Figueroa. We go to the bottom of the six. No runs, no hits, no errors. It's the Royals two, the Yankees one. No guarding the dog pound. Okay. Have you been to the new stadium? New being 20 years old. It'll be Munson, Chambliss, and May. Or are you just, Mr. Tribe fan, not a huge football fan? Thurman is 0 for 2. Munson has struck out. Leonard starts the 6 with a ground ball to short. Patek across the way, 1 out. You've been twice, okay? Never been to an NFL game. Been to a few Major League Baseball games. Some minor league games, but never do a pro football game. Chris Chambliss is one for two. He has singled. Pitch from Leonard. There's a line drive to right. McCray will pick it up. McCray, again, not the good choice out there in right field, and Chambliss takes advantage with the single. Six hit for the Yankees. Here's Carlos May. He is 0 for two. Martinez goes out to talk to Leonard. Dennis from the stretch. May swings. A ground ball to Rojas. Goes to second for one. Over to first. May will beat it out. So two out. They erase Chambliss on the fielder's choice. <laughs> Where is Big Clue when you need him? John says, I went to a lot of Bengal games in the 90s, so I guess I've not seen a true pro football team either. <laughs> His nettles, he has singled and struck out May on first. They're having a good year this year, though, John. <laughs> you mean you don't miss the Keeley Smith years? The name David Klinger. Klingler doesn't send a chill up your spine. Pitch to Nettles. There's a fly ball to right. McCray should track that one down. He does. And so that'll do it. The Yankees leave a runner on. No runs, a hit, no errors. We go to the seventh here in the Bronx. It's 2-1 to one, Kansas City. Atmosphere, Mr. Blue Jacket fan says is really the only reason to go to an NFL game if you can't judge first downs or fumbles. Jeff Blake. Yeah, Jeff Blake was okay. And John Kitna were at least okay quarterbacks. <laughs> As someone who grew up a Bengals fan, John, I completely agree with you. Very excited about the team this year. No, the Dave Shula era required therapy. Dave was not his father, for sure. Jamie Quirk is 0 for 2. He is grounded into a double play. Figueroa starts the inning. A ground ball to second. Randolph over to Chambliss, and there's one out. Here's Cookie Rojas. Cookie is 1 for 2. Ed deals. Rojas, a chopper down to Chambliss. Takes it to the bag himself. Two out. Now bring up Pontek. Freddie has struck out twice. He is 0 for 2. Figueroa has whiffed 4. Freddie swings into shallow center field. Rivers rides the Schwinn. Makes the catch. Stretch time. 2 to 1. Can't see.
Remember, tomorrow it'll be the Seahawks and the Packers, 11.45 for the pregame show. And then next week we'll have the 49ers and the Rams and the Raiders against another good team. So two fantastic football games. I've done baseball games for you both, right? We did an Indians game for Tribe Fan, right? And John, were you the... One that one of the pilot game. Gamble, by the way, is 0 for 2. Oscar swings into right field. McCray, one out. Willie Randolph has walked and struck out. He's 0 for 1. In the real game five, Dennis Leonard couldn't get out of the first inning. In fact, I'm not sure he retired and out. Or recorded an out. And this one, he's pitched six strong. Pitch to Randolph. There's a ground ball base hit. That was not you. Okay, John. Then you get to pick next Wednesday's ball game. then. Fred Stanley is one for two. He has singled and grounded into a double play. We are going to try and steal. There goes Randolph, the throw down to Rojas. No. So Randolph has it swiped. Did they bring, yeah, they did bring in Splitdorf. Who pitched, I think, three and two thirds. So the tying run is on second. And Stanley is going to square here with an 0-1 count. Yankees trying to tie this one up in the bottom of the seventh. Pitch to Stanley, it is down. Martinez goes to the bag. Rojas covers, and the sacrifice works 2-4. So Randolph, the tying run on third for Mickey Rivers. Dennis Leonard, 89 pitches, six and two-thirds innings, seven hits, one run, a walk, and three strikeouts. Odds heavily in favor of the Yankees here. Leonard on a 56 degree night, sweating up a storm. Wines and fires. There's a base hit. We're tied at two. And that'll do it for Leonard. And so we're going to take a look. You got Gura. That's who I'd go with. So Larry Gura, 4 0 oh, and 76 with a save and an ERA of 230. 62 and two-thirds innings, 47 hits, four homers. He's walked 20 and struck out 22. He is 29 years old, a fastball pitcher at 85 and a standard pitcher. He came to Kansas City in mid-May, so he is certainly on the roster for this. Two starts and one complete game. And this is a Leonard is in charge or is responsible for Rivers on first. You've got to figure Sparky Lyle will come in. So midlife crisis jumps in. Well, not that it matters. Actually, I I want to know this. But what you could find regarding the Royals lineup was that Amos Otis was hurt. He believed that if Otis played and Cowens was in right, he could have caught Chambliss as Homer, being three inches taller than. I, that would be the only reason to explain why McCray is in right field. Because McCray is terrible. John thinks that Otis sprained his ankle in game one. These are the exact lineups. So Roy White, one for three. But Jamie Quirk is a DH? That's the one that kind of bamboozles me. 
And Rojas at second. Although Pookie is one for three. Two out, pitched away. There's a line drive to Rojas, and that will retire the side. One run. Two hits and no errors. Figueroa now as a second life. We go to the eighth, 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I, you know, I remember the same things. So John is asking for game five of the 73 in LCS. The Reds and Mets from Shea Stadium. Bring your boxing gloves, Peter Edward Rose and Buddy Harrelson. We can do that. So Martinez, Cowens, and Paquette. Buck is 0 for 2 in the strikeout. Figueroa, a base runner away from a shower. Got him. That's five. A swing and miss on an 89 mile an hour fastball. Here's Cowens. Al is 1 for 2 with a walk. 27 batters deep for Figueroa. 111 pitches, seven and a third innings, five hits. He has walked two and struck out five. Pitch to Cowens. There's a ground ball to short. Stanley, two out. Billy Martin has to be over the moon for what Ed Figueroa has done in game five. Here's Paquette. Time is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Figueroa deals, and there's a fly ball to left. White will grab it, and we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. No runs, no hits, and no errors. Find your fingernails and give them a chew. It's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, Paquette and Quirk. Paquette isn't that terrible. Quirk we showed us earlier, you got Quirk. If Otis could have walked, you could have gone with him as a DH. White on the bench. Jimmy Wolford on the bench. Stoles to Bowie asks where I'm from. I'm from the States. Thurman Munson is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Chambliss is 2 for 3. He's on deck in Carlos May. Gurra and of course Mark Littell would be next. He was their closer. And he's the one that gave up the bomb to, to Chambliss. Munson swings into center field. Cowens makes a great catch. Where are you from? Been a while since someone called me a boy. I turn 50 next month. Here's Chambliss. Chris is two for three. Poland, okay. You a baseball fan? Chris is single twice. Eight hits for the Yankees, five for the Royals. There's a ground ball is short. Patek deep in the hole for the out. And Gura is doing his job. Here's Carlos May. Carlos is 0 for 3. It'll be Brett Mayberry and McCray in the ninth. And you got to figure that it'll be Sparky Lyle time for the Yankees. Going to pinch hit for May. Who can hit a lefty? And the answer is really nobody. It'll be Lou Pinella. Sweet Lou in 76, 281, 3 homers, 38 RBI, 16 doubles. Pitch to Lou. Nobody on. There's a base hit. So that worked. So the Yankees have the go-ahead run on.
for Craig Nettles. And as we said earlier, he led the American League in homers with 32. But just in case you're missing modern baseball, he did strike out 94 times a metric ton in 1976. It is now a brisk 54. What little wind there is is blowing in at 2 from right field. Although the left-handed batter, lefty versus lefty, Nettles is going to stay in the game. You're not going to pinch hit him. Craig swings and in right center field. Back goes Cowens and McCray off the wall. Pinella rounds third and scores. And the Yankees go up three to two. Craig Nettles with an RBI double off the wall in right center. So the pinch hit worked. Pinella scored from first. Here's Gamble. Have I got a right fielder? They're going to stick with Gamble. So Gura gives up the hit. 3-2 Yankees. Bottom of the eighth inning. Pitch to Oscar. There's a fly ball left field. Paquette coming in. Will make the catch. The Yankees need three outs. Ed Figueroa has thrown them eight great innings. No, okay, you're fan a little bit. That's cool. It'll be Sparky Lyle. Sparky trying to nail down the pennant. He is seven and eight in seventy six, twenty three saves, an ERA of two twenty six. A hundred and imagine that a hundred and three and two thirds innings from a bullpen. Eighty two hits, five homers. He has walked 42 and struck out 61. Sparky is a fastball pitcher. He throws it at 90. He is a ground ball plus pitcher. And in kilometers, that's probably uh, 62 is 100. Around 150 kilometers an hour. 32 years old. He's a lefty. He's got to face the heart of the Royal Order to win the pennant. It'll be Brett, who's two for three. John Mayberry, who is one for three. I'm in Vermont. And Hal McRae is 0 for two. No pinch in here. And if we change history, it's Pinella's mad dash from first on the double by Nettles. Not sure who it would have mattered who was in the outfield for that. Pitch to Brett. There's a ground ball to Chambliss. One out. And there are no, horse, no horses ringing the infield here at Yankee Stadium. If they get the next two outs, all hell is going to break loose here. Here's John Mayberry. One for three with a run scored. That's a single. Lyle. Why? Oh, a pinch hitter for sure. Jim Wolford. Jim at 249. A homer. And 24 RBI. And if he reaches, he's a threat to steal. He stole 22. Wolford, there's a ground ball base hit, and the Royals have the tying run on for Hal McRae, who is 0 for 2 with a walk. If we go to the bottom of the ninth inning, it's Randolph Stanley and Mickey Rivers. Three runs, ten hits, no errors, seven left on for the Yankees. Two runs, six hits, no errors, and three left on for the Royals. 
McRae hits a base hit into left center field. White will pick it up. Wolford will hold it second. You know that they're going to pinch hit for court. Jamie is 0 for 3. He has grounded into a double play. And Dave Nelson. The former Texas Ranger, 235, a homer and 17 RBI. So the Royals have the tying run on second and the go-ahead run on first in McRae. Lyle not covering himself in clover quite yet, but if he gets two outs, it won't matter how he got him. It'll matter that he did. Pitch to Nelson. He walked him. They're loaded. For Cookie Rojas, who is one for three. The Yankees are running the first. Kansas City two in the fourth. The Yankees tied the game in the seventh and pulled ahead on a pinch hit double or pin, a double by Greg Nettles. Three two New York. Pitch to Rojas. There's a fly ball to right. That should tie the game. Gamble reaches over, makes the catch. Wolford with good speed is going to try it. The throw to the plate. Safe. We are tied at three. And just in case you're wondering, one, two, three, four. Chris Chambliss would bat six for the Yankees in the ninth. So Freddie Patek can be the hero now for Kansas City. He has struck out twice. He is 0 for 3. He is now 1 for 4 as the Royals are going to pull out a two-run single. McCray will score. Here comes Nelson and it's 5 to 3. Sparky Lyle has grown goat horns. And somewhere in the confines of Chicago, Goose Gossage gets a tingle up his leg. And that'll bring up Buck Martinez. Sorry, John. Well, you got to see how the Yankees might have lost the pennant. 5-3 KC. Here's Martinez. He's 0 for 3. He draws a walk. And that brings up Al Cowens, who was one for three. He has singled and walked. Lyle has been about as effective as putting gasoline on a fire. Munson goes to settle him down. The Yankees haven't lost this yet. Here's the pitch to Cowens. Ball four, now do it for Sparky. They can't afford to go down any further. In comes Grant Jackson. And, yep, Sparky's going to need an escort. Jackson, 58 and two-thirds innings. Lefty versus lefty. 38 hits. A home run. He has walked 16 and struck out 25. The Royals have three here in the ninth. He went 6-0 and oh with a save. And an ERA of 169. The Yankees got him at the deadline. To bolster their pen. Of course, he would go on to great success with the Pirates. 34 years old, fastball pitcher, 83, and an extreme ground ball pitcher. Amos Otis coming in. Going to hobble to the plate. 279, 18 homers, and 86 RBI. He gets a base hit here. It'll be the Royals and the Reds, I would imagine. Jackson deals. Otis in the left field. White will track that one down, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. But what an inning. Mark Littell's turn to slam the door. 
three runs, three hits, and no errors. We go to the bottom of the ninth. It's five to three, Kansas City. So Mark Littell, the Royals fireman, is only 23. He throws the fastball at 98 and is a ground ball pitcher. Eight and four with 16 saves and an ERA of 208. 104 innings, 68 hits, a homer allowed. He has walked 60 and struck out 92. It is Randolph, Stanley, and Rivers. So this one is not done and dusted yet. Pitch to Randolph. Here's a ground ball to Patek. Freddie with a long throw to first, one out. The Yankees see who they have that can hit a righty. And their options are pretty much few and far between. They stick with Fred. It was one for two. One out, nobody on. The Royals with a three spot in the top of the ninth. Pitch. There's a chopper to second. Rojas dives. Stops. Makes a great throw. Two out. So the Royals are one out away. And I do think that Sparky Lyle is going to need a few New York's finest around him to get out of here. The Yankees were two outs away. Here's Rivers. He's two for four. He has singled twice, stolen two, scored a run, and drove in a run. Mattel deals. Base hit right field. All the way to the wall. Rivers is digging for three. He's in there. A two-out stand-up triple for Mickey Rivers. And Roy White, who does have some power, is now the tying run. Roy, one for four. He is singled and driven in a run. Munson on deck. 5-3, Royals. Two out, bottom of the ninth. Littell's pitch. Struck him out. The Royals have won the pennant. Four years early. A curveball in there for strike three. So a dandy here at Yankee Stadium. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. And Freddie Pontek, for all you do, this bud's for you. He had the big hit. Larry Gurra gets the win. Sparky Lyle lost this game. I thought the Yankees had it all wrapped up. Eddie Figueroa, eight innings, five hits, two runs, both earned. He walked two and struck out five. Littell gets the save, and the Yankees will watch the World Series on television. How about that? Final score here, it's the Royals 5, the Yankees 3. I'm Ron Juckett. We'll talk to you tomorrow. It'll be the Seahawks and the Packers as we play Week 8 of our NFL 84 replay. See you then. So long, everybody.